Passing along the trunk road leading from Bangalore to the western coast, one's eyes are immediately arrested on approaching Chennaraya Patna by a beautiful hill, bearing on its summit what appears at first to be a column. As one draws closer, one can see a colossal statue partially hidden behind the hill. This striking and unusual monolith, visible from miles away, marks the site of one of the most interesting tourist and religious spots in South India. Shravan Belagola in the state of Karnataka derives its name from the Kannada words pale or white and gola or pond, an allusion to this splendid large tank in the middle of the area. The tank is also called Bhudevi Mangala Darsa or simply Kalyani, the mirror of good fortune to the earth goddess. It is a large village situated in the Hassan district of Karnataka. At 3,347 feet above sea level stands this enormous statue of Gomateshwar, popularly known as Bahubali or the one with strong arms. Bahubali was the second of the hundred sons of Tirthankar Rishabh, the founder of Jainism. A much revered figure amongst the Jains, Bahubali's story exemplifies the inner strength of the Indian. He could also have procured the title of Chakravartin, an emperor, but he chose to give up everything and became a Digambar Jain monk. Bahubali meditated motionless for an entire year in Kayotsarga position or the standing meditation, because of which climbers grew around his legs thus the vine motif on the legs of the statue. This place at the foot of the Vindhya hills became a consecrated place for meditation by rishis on their path to obtain moksha or freedom from the cycle of rebirth. The inscriptions in Kannada at the foot of the statue provide us with information about the ascetics that spent their time meditating and practicing the Jain Dharma. Interestingly, the inscription tells the story of Bhadrabahu Swami, one of the rishis who descended in the form of Gandhara Gautam with 13 other names. These ascetics were forewarned of a dreadful famine which would last 12 years, upon which the whole Sangh or Jain religious brotherhood gave up the northern regions and under his leadership migrated to the south. The festival of Mahamastak Abhishek thus has a gap of 12 years between each celebration. The stage is set for the elaborate Mahamastak Abhishek or head anointment ceremony of the world's largest freestanding statue of Bahubali atop Vindhyagiri Hill. The first records of Mahamastak Abhishek date as far back as March 13, 981 AD and the last Mahamastak Abhishek took place in February 2006 with the next one only due in the year 2018. Built by the Ganga dynasty, this 57-foot high statue, a daunting symbol of generosity and sacrifice, gets anointed once every 12 years. Here, priests with thousands of specially prepared vessels singing hymns in the praise of the gods. Pour consecrated water from a special scaffolding made to reach atop the mammoth statue. For 10 hours straight, Bahubali is bathed in milk, coconut water, sugarcane juice, turmeric, flower petals, sandalwood and saffron paste. The stone sculpture carved out of a single piece of rock symbolizes renunciation, self-control and subjugation of the ego as the first steps towards salvation. As the vibrant colours cascade down the statue, thousands of Jain devotees gathered here sing hymns in praise of the Bahubali. The nude form of Lord Bahubali is also referred to as the Gambar, or the one who represents complete victory over earthly desires. The ritual of the sacred bath occupies an important place in all Indian religions, be it Hindu, Buddhist or Jain. As the day turns to evening, buckets of rich vermilion, a symbol for virility in our culture, is poured on Bahubali. 
Offerings of petals, gold and silver coins as well as precious stones are made to Gomateshwar by his many devotees. If you are one of those people who seek a divine relationship with God or nature, forgiveness, healing, guidance and personal transformation, then a spiritual journey of the Mahamastak Abhishek will help you accomplish just that. If not, well, it is still a spectacle to enrich all of one's senses.